former president, His Excellency Jerry Rawlings, and his brother, the former president, John Ajikum Kofo, should please smoke the peace pipe and stop the public show of friction between them. Fellow compatriots, on the back of my very modest and humble appeals during the row between Ghana's former president, John Dramani Mahama, and Otun Fosetu to the second, we yet again have another uneasy relationship between two important statesmen, former President Joe Rollins, the longest serving head of state in the history of modern Ghana, and his brother, the former President John Ajakum Kofo, uh, who also was a companion in national service to the Republic of Ghana in the highest office with Joe Rollins. Even though some skeptics may reject this fact, my appeal to former President Mahama to pick up the phone and call his brother Utum Fosei to the second uh, might have been the spark that started a backdoor negotiation into the issue to end what would have degenerated into a serious feud between two of the most eminent and most important personalities in the country the eminent office of the former president and the revered palace of Otunfo. A few months down the line, two living former presidents of Ghana are sadly embroiled in an unsavory and heated public exchange of words. I hope my modest words this time round would settle this issue once and for all. In a pristine and unadulterated Ghanaian culture, our leaders are our greatest role models and source of guidance. The two important statesmen had the greatest exposure and influence during their heyday as presidents. The lingering sentiments of political rivalry that characterized the Rawlings against Kufo election campaign in 1996 should end. Former presidents stand on an ivory tower of good conscience and moral values as and our moral values as a people. The dictates of this heavy responsibility should guide their utterances and mannerisms. Throwing salvos at each other does not project national cohesion and national goodwill at a time this great nation has been badly battered by disunity and torn apart by partisan acrimony. In our time of confusion, these elderly statesmen are to give us national guidance in our time of indecision, they are to show us the way. In our time of field, they are to lead us to peace and our shared interests and collective destiny as a people. Ghana currently has three living former presidents, and the United States has four, Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama. You hardly or never hear of Obama and Bush speak L of each other, even though they served on opposite sides of the political divide. As for presidents, as former presidents, the bitter rivalry between the Democrat and Republican parties does not push them to settle personal scores in public. That would be bad leadership and a bad example for the generations of leaders to follow. I therefore humbly call on both former presidents Rawlings and Kofu to cease fire and start taking steps behind the scenes that will culminate in a physical meeting to shake hands with each other, put on smiles and send the right message of friendship and brotherly goodwill to this great nation. At the twilight of their lives, they have nothing to lose if they patch up before the angel of death knocks on their doors and are on our own doors very soon. God bless you, and God bless the Republic of Ghana. Thank you.